student welcome back to math session today here we are going to learn how to represent irrational numbers on a number line okay now first we already studied what is mean by irrational number yes what is irrational number irrational numbers are all the real numbers okay which cannot be right in the form of ratio of two integers because we know that rational numbers can be written in the form of numerator upon denominator that is ratio of two integers but irrational numbers cannot be right in the form of ratio of two integers now here we will study how to represent these irrational numbers on a number line so we know that examples of irrational number root root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 okay so here now i take and one example that is to represent root 2 on a number line which is a irrational number so for that first i draw a number line okay here is a zero on right side positive integers are there on left side negative integers are there so how to represent this root 2 on a number line okay so first we are considering this zero or the origin as a point o okay then next we have to represent this root 2 on a number line for that purpose i consider a point a okay here is a point a at a distance of one unit okay what is mean by one unit now one unit means we can take any constant distance okay here if you are observing suppose starting from zero okay i consider this point at a 2 cm as a 1 unit. So, second point at 4, then 6. Okay. Means what is meant by 1 unit? Here we are, I have considered 1 unit as a 2 cm. Okay. So, the first step is what? You have to draw a perpendicular line passing through this point A. What is meant by perpendicular line? A line which makes an angle of 90 degree with this line suppose this is what line l okay now if you measure this angle okay you found it is to be 90 degree clear this angle is of what 90 degree means perpendicular line is what line which makes an angle of 90 degree and here is the symbol of right angle okay so next step is what we have to draw a segment okay mark the point p which is at a unit distance on this line l so for that i take a distance of oa which is a one unit okay then keep at point a and mark on line l which represents the point P. Okay, means what this OA is equal to OP. We mark the point P on this perpendicular line at a distance of one unit so that OA is equal to OP. Next step is what? Join the segment OP. Okay, so we join the segment OP. Okay, so if you are observing this triangle. O A P okay here is the point A so triangle O A P which makes a 90 degree angle at A so triangle O A P is a what it is right angle triangle okay so we know that for right angle triangle we can use a Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem okay what is the pythagoras theorem so we know that in that 
hypotenuse square is equal to first side square plus second side square which forms a right angle okay now what is the hypotenuse so we know that a line segment opposite to right angle triangle here is the right angle is formed opposite to that this is a op so in this diagram we can use a pythagoras theorem so we know that hypotenuse is the op square is equal to first side is the oa that is oa bracket square plus second side is the ap which forms a right angle triangle so we use the pythagoras theorem for the triangle oap op square is equal to oa square plus ap square so we know that oa and the ap we consider here is a what one unit so we substitute the value oa as a one unit that is oa square one square plus ap is also one square so we know that one square is one plus one square is one so is equal to two so op square is equal to two okay but we so what is the value of op so taking square root okay square root means what op square it is what op and square root of 2 is what a root 2 okay means here the value of this oa as one unit this op as a one unit and the value is root 2 so our aim is what i have to represent root 2 on a number line so again i consider a op as a distance in a compass okay o as a center and op as a radius and mark and r okay so which intersect this number line at this point okay i give the name to that point as a q okay so if you are now observing this oq okay so distance of oq is the what root 2 means point q represents the what root 2 okay here so we can write distance oq is equal to root 2 okay so like this we represented this root 2 on a number line that is point q represents root 2 on number line now if i want to represent instead of root 2 a minus root 2 on a number line okay so we can follow the same procedure only on the left side of the origin because on left side negative integers are there we can also direct with the help of this how we can mark so we know that distance oq is the what it is a plus root 2 okay so like same distance i have considered if i mark on the left side okay suppose i consider this point as a q dash okay so this represents minus root 2 okay so we can also write here is the oq is a root 2 and oq dash as a minus root 2 okay so like this we can represent irrational numbers on a number line okay so i hope all of you understood how to represent irrational numbers on number line thank you